What up, gang, man? What's happening with y'all, man? This your boy vlogging with Greg, and I'm right back with another reaction video, man. Y'all see who it is? It's a, your boy Tom McDonald with America. Yeah, see my boy looking real sharp in his camouflage army looking suit. Have no idea where he gets that truck from, but he got it. So, with that being said, man, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead on and subscribe. Hit that notification bell that way you know every time you boy to drop another video. Get in the comment section, let me know what y'all want to see. We'll react to it, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. So, yeah, we with Tom, man. Tom said, <laughs> Tom said he got one more for us, man. One more, one more for us, bro. So we gonna definitely check this one here out, man. Uh, Let's see who else he got to expose. Who he talking about? What he talking about? Y'all already know how he coming. He coming with that hard truth, regardless. So, yeah, we gonna jump straight into this one, man. Tom McDonald with America. Let's let's get it. Lately, USA is getting scarier. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. I'm tired of the fishing and complaining. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I like that, man. Yeah, yeah. The um, kneeling for the flag. Uh, <laughs> I know everybody have their reasons of why they do things, and I mean, like in to a certain extent, you know, I I do respect that because. You know, you 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 kneeling. You think you're doing something for a, a good purpose. You know what I'm saying? For uh, for a good purpose. I'm I'm pretty sure they have they they reasons for doing it. But um, and there's a lot of people that felt disrespected by it. You know what I'm saying? So they they didn't like that. And uh, I can respect that too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody got their different thought process about things, man. So. Yeah, he he calling it out early, but that's that's Tom. Tom going he gonna call it out early in the song anyway. I'm gonna let you know what he talking about quick. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. I'm tired of the fishing and complaining. Why you living in America if all you do is hate it? <laughs> brave to take a stand against the nation real bravery is dying for the right so you can say it dear america what happened to americans apparently no one's aware of yeah big big shout out to those that's been fighting for this country man for years and years putting their time in and putting their life on the line for us man like you said they they is there's those that's standing up for us you know what i'm saying so we can stand there and shout out america Bro, you gotta, bro, you gotta give respect where it belongs, man. And it definitely respect, definitely need to be shouted towards those soldiers, man, for for real. America, they hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. I'm tired of the fishing and complaining. Why you living in America if all you do is hate it? Think it's brave to take a stand against the nation. Real bravery is dying for the right, so you can say it. Dear America, what happened to Americans? Apparently, no one's aware of cares that it's embarrassing. It's arrogance. Our greatest enemy was always slavery and terrorists, and now it's people in the country trying to burn the heritage. Huh. Can't help it. I just seem to see the world different. It ain't Republicans or liberals, it's mental illness. Uh. The internet is only interested in left opinions. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. If you don't like it, leave. We will not be. Like I said, Tom gonna call it out, man. He gonna call it out, bro. Hey, whatever is going on, he is not scared to speak it out. And when he speaks it out, it's like he's speaking out to the world. So, and whoever don't like it, they gonna listen to him anyway because they trying to see what else that he got to say about whatever they think is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever they going against. So, his biggest enemy is, is his pretty much his his biggest supporters. So I congratulate him on doing this type of thing for even speaking it out like that because he already know his fans. They definitely we def we definitely gonna listen to him anyway. We are gonna listen to him, but those ones that don't like him when he drop, 
They're sitting there waiting for his music to drop just so they can see, listen to what he's saying. I mean, you might not want to hear it, but you're going to hear it regardless. It ain't Republicans or labor rules, it's mental illness. The internet is only interested in left opinions. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. If you don't like it, leave. We will not defund police. We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the streets. We respect freedom of speech. We protect what we believe. We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, your boy said if my flag offends you that much, I will help you pack your bags. Help you get up out of here, man. I mean, hey bro, you hate this country that much. Just leave. I mean, there's plenty of planes flying across the sky every day. They still second they're still selling plane tickets. If you wanna take ship jump on a ship you want to take a train take a train i mean if you don't want to be here just go that's all you got to do man stop complaining leave there's plenty of ways to deal with what you don't like if you don't want to be around it leave know what the hell happened to the patriots lately this nation is so ashamed and hating itself did everyone mm. forget that people died to pay for this ungratefulness united states gave everything to you just to help i just want to celebrate thanksgiving with my family yeah. i don't need your help to understand it was a tragedy can i just be thankful for my country eating happily without you trying to guilt me for the genocide and casualties I can't help it, I just seem to see the world different. It ain't black or white, it's conflict designed by the system. Yeah. I don't need your pronouns, all I see is men and women. Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions. If you don't Ooh. like it, go ahead. Woo. Yeah, <laughs> he touched on that subject. I like that, man. He, I like that. He, he said, there's people out there struggling that to get the medication that they need. But you got kids out here popping them for fun they know how to i mean just teenagers and people that just not prescribe that type of medicine they can get their hands on it way easier than the ones that really need it that's i mean it's crazy but it's going to show you how things can fall in the wrong hands way better than the ones that really need it uh, Tommy he ain't scared, boy. Dude ain't scared to speak on nothing. Nothing. Without you trying to kill me for the genocide and casualties. I can't help it. I just seem to see the world different. It ain't black or white. It's conflict designed by the system. I don't need your pronouns. All I see is men and women. Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions. Yeah. If you don't like it, go. Hate it, then don't call it home. We don't need no violence. Got no time for all you radicals. Screw status quo. We're not animals. I won't kneel for the anthem because the flag is what I'm standing for. In America. That's what I talked about earlier when he was saying about kneeling for it, but he said he stand for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, everybody got their different reasons, and from what I understand, what they was kneeling for the flag is for the justice from whatever, like and whatever was going on at the time with the police is like with the killing, like shooting up people, and it just seemed like they was doing it for fun. So. And nothing was getting done in their eyes. So, yeah, at that time, that's what they was doing. Kneeling for the flag, for justice. That's what they were saying. But, like I said, a lot of people still was thinking that they was disrespecting the flag. And I guess overlooking what they was trying to show the world. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah.
America. You can hate the government and still love the country. The fundamental values of America are country. Repu I ain't like that. That's a true fact. That's a true fact. You can hate your government, but you can still love your country. Like, yeah, I I, I feel that. I definitely feel that because I yeah, it's, I definitely don't like ours, but I still love the country though. Because I mean, if you look at it anywhere else, it ain't no telling what the hell you'd be going through right now if you was anywhere else, bro. If you really really think about it, like you think if you if you think you catching hell over here. Trust me, it's a lot worse somewhere else. A lot worse. And I'll help you back your balance. America, you can hate the government and still love the country. The fundamental values of America are country. Republicans and liberals are dumb to put it bluntly. They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption. Mm. You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from. Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood. We started out United States divided is what we've become. If home is where the heart ah. should show America some love. Yeah, hold up, let's run that back. <laughs> yeah, it's that blood. It, yes, the flag is. In blood, yeah, it was made in blood, definitely. Bluntly, they're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption. You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from. Um. Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood. We started out United States divided is what we've become. Um. If home is where the heart is, you should show America some love. In America, the freedom ain't free. In America, that's all just dying overseas. So America, you say what we believe, my America. Yep, that definitely, that's definitely, definitely true, man. If you don't want to be here, go. <laughs> if you don't want to be here, go, bro. Because, um, yeah, <laughs> Tom said it all, man. He definitely, definitely said it all up in this one here. Because, um, hey, America, like those soldiers that have fought for us, that still that's that is still fighting for us to this day man look y'all don't know how much i thank y'all for this i mean if nobody else feels this way i do like man, to every soldier out there i don't care if you with the navy the marines the the army whatever man hey if you out there doing your thing for us thank you thank you Thank you. Much appreciated. Trust me. So, yeah, man. Big shout out to Tom on this one here, man. This one here is definitely, definitely need to, to be here. Need to be heard. <laughs> it needed to be heard, man. For real. Because, man. Yeah. <laughs> it needed to be heard. So, shout out to Tom on the America, man. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know how y'all felt about this song. If y'all loved it. If y'all liked it. If you did like it. Whatever, man. Just let me know. How y'all felt? I would love to hear what y'all have to say about this song. If you're not subscribed yet, man, go ahead on and subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell on to all that way you know every time you're bored and drop another video, man. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Vlogging with Greg. I'm out.